Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, the one back up more Tokyo Ghoul Break the Chains content. And in this video, we're going to be covering the new unit that's coming to the game on the 27th of November Kotaro Amon. Let's get it. <laughs> Welcome to the pinnacle of gacha gaming on YouTube. So firstly, if you head over here in game, um, they actually posted here um, that the new exclusive uh, banner will be coming on the 27th of November and it'll be here to the uh, 18th of December. Uh, and it says the same thing that the usually same banners um, will be featured, will be limited and it's basically the format of the banner is going to be the same so um after 100 or 200 you'll have uh you gain um an additional ssr character from the event pool um obviously we increase chance of it being ammon and then when you hit 300 you're going to be able to select whatever um ssr you want um and he won't be added into the general pool so he's going to be limited like i said um so yeah we're going to go over to twitter um because i think they dropped some more news over there so i'll be back in a second all right so here on the twitter they actually posted this here so there's going to be a login event uh for amon so if you log if you so from the november 23rd so that is so from today to november 27th which is the day he drops um every day you log in you're going to be able to get 10 uh summon tickets so basically a multi um for the next couple of days um okay and you have to log in between okay a certain time each day to get these summon tickets okay that's that's really nice so they're giving you summon tickets but i don't know if these are i think these are generous are um regular summon tickets these aren't like limited tickets for amon's banner which is unfortunate but yeah they're going to give you regular gacha tickets which is nice um, as you can use these for stamina, you can use these for um, obviously gaining um, tickets or whatever. So like, yeah, there's there's some stuff you can use your dupes for with the coins that you get from the, the summons. Um, but real quick, we're gonna take a look at Amon and his kit um, as it has been posted um, or leaked or whatever that uh you can actually see his skills so we'll go over his skills and his in-game um animations so we'll be back uh, okay so right here we have some Am amon kura gameplay so we're going to take a look at his animations um and what he actually does here okay so we're gonna see his ultimate right here. Let's see this animation. So what is so he waves his two swords? Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay, and a, a nice sword throw. That looks pretty nice. That's pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Alright, so that's his gameplay now we're going to take a look at his kit right now okay so real quick before we take a look at his at his passive skills uh let's take let, let's let's break down what he actually does so his skill his regular skill so what he does is he deals blade damage to target equal to 480 percent of attack and what blade does is the crit rate triples when attacking so this is really really interesting so if the crit rate triples when attacking, I feel like you're gonna want to build him with a um, attack and crit damage um, build. So you might want to go, um, you might want to go. I don't know, eight attack and four crit damage, perhaps. As you're not gonna want to build him a crit rate because his crit rate triples when attacking. So that means he's pretty much guaranteed to he's kind of guaranteed to crit every time he attacks if it triples so i mean that's what i'm thinking that's just me theory crafting right here before we actually see him so i'm thinking attack and crit rate nine to nine to three or eight to four 
that ratio. Alright, so let's take a look at his passives. Okay, so his first passive is called Skill Level Up. And what this does is taking no damage in the previous turn increases skill levels as your turn starts. Okay, so I'm assuming that this is if he takes no damage in the previous turn, he increases skill levels as your turn starts. And I, I, but I, what I'm curious is, so if he, take no, if he takes no damage, is he going to increase all of his car, uh, skill cards or only one of them? As it says skill levels as your turn starts, I'm, I'm thinking he automatically uh, stars up all his all his skills in your hand as the turn starts. So if that's true, then that, that means he's literally a, an, an, another Uta. That means he's literally a, 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 an Uta 2.0, but for himself in that sense, as he skills up himself if no one attacks him. So. Mm, I'm having some really nice ideas right here. So you might even want to pair him with a tank right here Because if you're able to um, maybe a shoe um, Maybe if you use a shoe then um, He'll be able to provoke then that means your enemies won't be able to attack Amon then Amon is gonna uh, obviously level up his skills and If you're running Uta, Uta will be able to level up again increasing attack and all your base stats That'd be really nice. So potentially pairing him with a tank would be the best idea. Wow, this is really, really nice right here. Okay, so let's look at his next passive. So his next passive, you unlock this at limit level 3. It's called Courage. And it says here, allied characters, every skill. So allied characters, every skill crit grants a stack of courage stacking up to six times gaining six stacks grants 100% energy removing all debuffs okay let's break this down so anytime any one of your units does a crit it grants courage and uh, and um, stacks up to six times gaining six stats grants 100% energy removing all debuffs so once you get 100% energy I think that's when you're gonna be able to do your ultimate so this is gonna be able to stack your ultimate gauge and once you reach six stacks it's going to remove all debuffs so you are going to want to pair him with someone who's going to be critting all the time so whether obviously if you're using a kaneki with a crit build or a rize with a crit build like you 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 want you want to use him with units that are going to crit so you're going to want all your other units to crit if they're attacking and he really and he and he grants a hundred percent energy once you reach six stacks and removes all debuffs, which is really nice, especially for PvP and the um, harder modes in the game. That's really really nice. So his next passive, attack and defense boost. So each time a allied character uh, critical strikes with an active skill, your whole team deal one point five percent increased damage and takes one point five percent reduced damage and cannot occur more than ten. So each time one of my units does a critical with an active skill, um, your whole team deals. So maybe, maybe that's looking like if it's like a skill. So I'm thinking Rize. That's this. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he's gonna pair really nicely with Rize, like I said earlier. So once you do a critical strike with an active skill, your, you, you, your whole team does 1.5% increased damage and take 1.5% less damage. Okay. Okay, that's really, really nice. And his final passive, which you unlock at limit level 9, is called Power Burst Enhancement. And what it does is gaining Power Burst grants one stack of Courage. And Courage, each stack increases critical damage by 10%. So that's what Courage does. As we saw with the um, anytime my um, allies crit, they gain a stack of courage. So he's going to be increasing crit damage by 10%. Okay, this is really interesting. So, hmm, I'm really interesting to see the kind of builds that that will work with him. I mess around with him uh, whenever he drops, and I will be summoning for him. I do expect um, a summon video for for him. Uh, we will try and get him six star. Um, but yeah. He looks really, really nice, man. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of him down below in the comments. Are you hyped for him? Are you going to pull for him? He seems really, really top tier. Um, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, join us in the Discord Lions Pride. And for now, take care and peace, guys.
This is Escanor, the Lion Sin of Pride from Seven Deadly Sins. Thank you for watching the Pinnacle of Gotcha Gaming on YouTube. The One.